Right, good morning. Hopefully it sounds a bit better because I bought a microphone, so I guess I'll take this a bit more seriously. But it's my last full day in Udaipur, and uh, I said I was going to come back here yesterday to do some volunteering, but I didn't. I just chilled out at the hostel. But today I'm back at Animal Aid um, to help out. It's quite good. You don't need to sign up or anything. You can literally just turn up. Someone will either give you a tour around or you can just go into one of the, the zones where the animals are and just, you know, go play with them, give them some attention. But I'll, I'll take you through the day and hopefully it should be good fun. So this little puppy they found yesterday or two days ago on a on a construction site um, covered in tar and then somebody brought him in and we're trying to now use oil to uh, to rub the tar off but it's quite difficult because it doesn't really come off very easily and as you can see the the fur's coming off yeah I think it's going to take a few hours to get all this off. Now they're going to give him a little bath, just give him a rest and try and give him some water and some soap and then start again with the oil later to try and get the tar off. Hey, hey! Hey, what are you barking? Hey! So we're just giving physiotherapy to two cows, but they are so strong and they weigh a ton. But you can pull up their tail, it's, the tail is so strong. I keep asking if it's going to hurt the animal, but they keep telling me just that it's fine. Yeah, in India is the big problem. It's like that. This was the cow that we just gave physiotherapy to uh, before this white one, and as you can see, it, it can't. Even, it's not dead. It just it just can't even stand up. Um, so they try and give physiotherapy a few times a day to to make them stronger. But there's so many animals with injuries. Donkeys here from people using them to carry things up the hills and on the streets. Splendid or no? No. No? Okay. Unfortunately that cow is going to die. Uh, we tried to give it physiotherapy but it couldn't even stand up so they've just made the decision to it's just, you know, they leave it on the mattress and it just dies peacefully in a way because they give it drugs every morning and afternoon just to make it, you know, feel nice and relaxed. But yeah, unfortunately, that one will die. Thank you, maybe it's okay. I can stay like this. I feel like I'm doing it. Do you want me to take it? No. 
So a lot of these dogs in this little section have potential to have malaria, um, not malaria, rabies, sorry, but because I've got my jabs, as long as I don't get bitten, you know, I should be okay. But you can see the, uh, like the fur and, and the, the hair falling off and it's, it's really sad. I think it's, it's like a, there's a name for it, um, Mangus or something, something like that. But yeah, all, all these dogs, uh, they don't look very nice, but it's a bit disgusting. You look nice. The dogs are going mental because uh, they've just brought another two dogs in. So you can imagine there's over there's over three, four hundred dogs here. So when new dogs come in, it's literally like dog jail. But obviously it's not dog jail because they are looking after them, but you wouldn't want to be a new dog here. Come on, bro. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so as you can see, they even uh, vacate for people in wheelchairs. <laughs> A doggy wheelchair, love it. Yeah, bro. Rapid. Hey buddy. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh my god. Here, 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 here. Come, come. Here. Hey. Hey Richie! Yeah Richie! How are you mate? <laughs> hey! Hey! Richie the boy! Hey! Richie mate how are ya? How are you, are you boy? Richie! So a lot of these dogs here are handicapped or you know mentally not there which reminds me of a few of my friends to be honest but so at the moment i'm just stroking my friend luca <laughs> but some of them god they're so aggressive towards each other this is richie i met him the other day he loves me somebody's got to i suppose holy shit i'm a bit close to this one hey. Hey, 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 mascara, stop it. Hey, you ain't coming to me now for love. This day would not be complete without treading in dog poo. Right, this is the third time I've tried to make this video because when I, as soon as I get this camera out, I start overthinking everything in my head and I can't speak properly. So, for the third time, let's do it. So, had a sick day. Don't like that already. Had a good day at um, Animal Aid Sanctuary in Udaipur. <laughs> oh, that was disgusting. Um, highly recommend it to anyone that loves animals. You can go give all the dogs all the attention you want. You can walk them, feed them. Today, I spent the day trying to get tar, um, which they use to make the roads out here, trying to get tar off this cute little puppy, which is no more than two months old. It's so sad because you know they found him in the tar for about two days and then they bring them bring him into into the sanctuary and we literally spent well the guy's probably still doing it now eight hours just trying to get this tar off and now you know he's barely got any fur on him because the tar you try and get it off it literally just pulls the skin off um but animal aid sanctuary if you love animals go check it out i'll leave links in the, in the description and everything like that um, and you can volunteer for longer than a day. There was a girl there who I spoke to who obviously was like me. She loves animals. She went there for one day. Now, one year and a half later, she's there. And I am not a vet, or there's three vets there. 
all I do is I like animals and I ended up giving physiotherapy to a cow and physiotherapy to dogs so you don't need to like any qualifications or anything like that literally just turn up they'll give you a tour you don't need to sign up online or anything all they ask well they don't even ask in fact there's a little donation um, so maybe buy a t-shirt or leave a bit of money because um, it does cost them a lot of money um, but if you're in Ulaipur go check it out hopefully that one was okay if not screw it